Hey, it's been a while. <laughs> hey, hi, hello, and happy 2016, YouTube! Honestly, since the last time I shot a video, which I think was close to a year ago, a lot of things have changed. At the beginning of the year, last January, I was in a musical that I didn't even know existed until I auditioned for it, and not only did I end up getting a lead, but in the process, it became one of my favorite shows of all time, I kid you not. The musical is by Mark Hallman and Greg Kotis, and it's called You're In Town, which is exactly what it sounds like. You're in town. It's about pee. This is my life. After all of my musical shenanigans and finals and the stresses of the end of the year, I graduated high school, class of 2015. Let me just say that I am very happy to be out of hell. I actually low-key had a really good time in high school, though. And of course, with the end of high school comes the beginning of college, which is also something that I started last September. I was also in my first ever college show, and it was William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, and I was a fairy, and it was rockin'! So, now that it's a new year, people all over the world are making New Year's resolutions. Now, we all know that New Year's resolutions are honestly just promises that we make ourselves that we don't always intend to keep, and they usually sound a lot like, this year, I'm gonna eat healthier. This year, I'm gonna exercise more. This year, I wanna be a better person. Honestly though, who am I kidding? So instead of focusing on aspects of my physical life, I decided to focus on aspects of myself. And while wanting to be a better person is always a great thing to strive for, I think that there are a thousand other things that come with it. So rather than making a super general statement, I decided to focus on certain specific aspects of myself that I'm hoping to change. One of the biggest things that I noticed toward the end of last year was that I'm a pretty negative person. I don't mean that I'm a pessimist or anything, because let's be real, I see the world through rose-colored glasses like 99% of the time. In case you don't know what that phrase means, if you say that someone looks at the world through rose-colored glasses, it means that they essentially are optimistic to the point of naive and refuse to see any negative in the world. Okay, maybe I'm not that extreme, but let's be real, there are things in the world that I just flat block out and don't pay attention to because I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. So I think what I'm trying to say is that I want to have a more positive attitude towards other people. I got a new job last September right before I started school. So now instead of working in retail, I work in just the service industry. I work in a movie theater now. And working in a movie theater, I see thousands of people every single day that I'm at work. I see people when I'm in the box office. I see people when I'm behind the concession stand. I see people when I'm that guy at the door that rips your ticket and hands it back to you and says, you're gonna be in theater too, enjoy your show. And a lot of times I find myself looking at people and judging their character based on the way that they look. Honestly, about 90% of the time, I get scared of older men because I'm afraid that they're either gonna be rude or they're gonna be sexual. But if I'm gonna be totally real with you, most of the men that come to my register are actually really friendly people. Honestly though, I think I got this judgmental mentality f Judgmental mentality. Judgmental mentality. That's a tongue twister. Judgmental mentality, judgmental mentality. <laughs> Honestly though, I think that I got this judgmental mindset from the internet because they've sort of convinced me that all middle-aged white women are the devil. Of course, there are some moms with their kids that think they're entitled or whatever. But honestly, I see them for 10 seconds. I give them their popcorn, I give them their ticket, I say enjoy your show, and then I never have to see them ever again. Unless they complain to my manager about something stupid that I didn't do. I love my coworkers to death, but a lot of times all of us together create this really toxic environment because we start talking crap on the customers. I feel like I shouldn't be telling you this. And yeah, sure, there are some people that deserve it. Sometimes you get a group of teenage boys who harass you and yell at you through the box office microphone and are just generally obnoxious and we want to talk about it because hey, they were rude and we want to get it off our chest. But a lot of times we just make snide comments to people about the general public, which while it's sort of entertaining, isn't necessarily a healthy thing to do. I say all the time that I really hate the service industry, and don't get me wrong, I totally do, 
But if I'm gonna be real with you, a lot of the customers that we get really aren't all that bad. The next thing that I kind of wanted to work on in terms of positivity is complimenting people more. I used to get really weirded out about giving and receiving compliments. Anytime that anyone complimented me, I used to brush it off and tell them it wasn't a big deal. People would come up to me and say, that's a really cute dress you're wearing, and I'd be like, oh, well, I mean, you know, it was only $8, so it's really nothing. So a few years ago, when I started high school, I decided that I was gonna start accepting compliments instead of brushing them off. And let me tell you, it worked wonders for my self-esteem. Anytime that I genuinely accept a compliment, I kind of absorb it and take it to heart more, and it really does wonders for my confidence. On the flip side of things, complimenting people is one of my new favorite things to do. This especially goes for girls complimenting girls. Let me tell you, I am so about female positivity and girls girls being positive towards other girls, I can't even begin to tell you. I always got a little bit freaked out about complimenting other people because I always felt like it came off weird or creepy or that it was just unnecessary. Oh, I love paying people compliments, especially when I can tell that someone's not having the best day. Like if a customer comes up to my register and they're kind of grumpy and tired, all I have to say is something like, oh I really like your hair, and they just kind of lift a little bit. It's really nice to know that you can say three words to someone and totally make their day. So honestly, I think my main goal this year is to just figure out who I want to be. And I know that sounds super typical and super cliche and people say it all the time, but I'm being dead serious. <laughs> It's so easy to lose yourself when you get too involved in life. These are focusing on school and work and your friends and family, and don't get me wrong, those things are important, but it's equally as important to focus on yourself. I made a blog post a little while ago, link below, and uh, in it I talked about falling in love with people and falling in love with yourself. And I think that that post kind of captures how I feel about life at the moment. I fall in love with people every single day, and it doesn't mean that I want to date them, or marry them, or that they're the one. I just kind of fall in love with them, and that's it. It's plain and simple. And I want to fall in love with myself this year. I want to be able to look in the mirror and just see someone that I'm proud of. Of course, this is easier said than done, and I know for a fact it's going to take my entire life to fix everything. But I'm not really striving for perfection. In fact, I think being perfect sounds pretty boring. I just want to be able to take a step back and look at myself and go, yeah, cool. So I think that's all for today's video. Now that I've gotten deep and sentimental on you, I think it's time that I sign off for the day. Before I go, I actually have a couple of announcements regarding my channel and the general internet. So in my year-long hiatus, I decided to kick things up a notch with this whole Devin Outside the Box thing that I've got going. So in short, I now have a Facebook page, an Instagram, and a blog that I update semi-regularly, not really. I don't have that much creativity or commitment in me to do that. So I'm going to put all those links down below. Don't forget to follow and like and subscribe as you please. Also, so now that I'm an adult and things are easier scheduling wise, I'm going to start putting up videos every Tuesday because that is my day off. So thank you for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you all a little later.